This is a little technique that I like to use when I need to get a plane at an odd canted angle that's true to a view that I want, but not to an orthogonal plane. So this is a compound angle, as you can see. Maybe I want something that's off in an ISO view. So one of the things I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna set up a point. Let's just say you're working towards the rear of the vehicle and you have a reference point that you wanna use. So there's my reference point. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into plane. And under plane, you have the option to go what's called by equation. With this, I'm gonna say parallel to screen. And what this does is it sets up the plane, so now I'm looking at it uh, normal to the screen. So the plane's looking directly at me. So this is the Z direction looking right at me. And then I'm gonna also have that plane pass through this point. Again, if I'm working on the rear of the vehicle or I'm working somewhere that's out, way off in space from the absolute, I wanna be able to capture that location with the information that I'm inputting now rather than having to reference something back a thousand times over. Now that I have that, what I can do is I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to drop it on my plane. This puts my working plane, the XY of the compass, on this plane that's set up. With this, I'm going to go in now and simply create what's called a planar patch. Now, if you want to, you can uh, make sure the compass isn't picking anything, but you can orient the compass so it, it looks a little bit more true to the view that you want. Just sort of clean things up a little bit. With the planar patch, I'm just gonna simply throw in, let me edit my orders, let me bring this up. I want this as simple and basic as possible. And the reason why I'm doing this is I, I'm, I'm gonna create in this click case, this is a planar patch, it's a planar surface. I know it's planar because that's what it says right there, planar patch. What this does for me now is it gives me the opportunity to create a 3D curve on this surface. So this gives me a place to actually sit and pick the control points or the through points for that spline. Once I have them selected, I select OK, and now I have my planar curve. The thing to note is that the curve is not linked to that surface. So if I take the surface and move it, you'll notice that the curve stays in space. There's no uh, linking or constraint to that surface. There are ways to do that, which we can talk about in another video. So for this, now I have my surface, and I can label this whatever I want to because this is a surface I may need to use over and over again. Okay, and I can now hide it. What's great about this now is, is if I come in, well, let me, let me step back. If I double click on this, you'll notice that this now wants to move off of the plane, right? Because the compass is adjusted to off of that plane. So if I want a curve with history, then I have to take that compass, drop it back on that surface or on this plane, and make my adjustments. If you don't want to worry about that, what you can do is now that I have my 3D curve out in, in space, I can just simply go into control points, pick my curve, it's going to convert it, which is fine, and then now I just want to make sure that I just simply use either mesh lines or local normals. And no matter what happens, this curve will always remain planar. So I have these options here. So if I come in and say I want to go local normals, it's going to stay planar. If I go to mesh lines, it stays planar. I can now get rid of that 3D curve. It's no longer necessary. I can come back in here. And, and again, as long as I stay within the confines of the the planarity, which is these mesh lines and this, these local normals, I have a quick, easy way to generate curves on a plane out in space at whatever eye view you want. Pretty straightforward, great little useful hint. Um, a lot of times it's uh, a pain in the butt to always reference the absolute. Again, if you're working way out in space, rear end of the vehicle, and you just want to drop some 
some quick curves in as a reference to something that you're working in in a local area, just go ahead and make a plane, put your planar surface on that plane using the compass, and then draw your curve on that surface. If I have to draw another curve, I just show that surface. I come in once again, I go through my 3D curve. And again, it does not matter that the compass is not oriented because I'm picking these points on a planar surface. And then now, once again, control points, pick my curve, convert it, that's fine. And this 3D curve is no longer necessary. So once again, anytime I go into control points, the only control points I'm really gonna use if I wanna keep that curve planar is mesh lines and local normals. Great trick, have fun.